Dear Heavenly Father, please help me to remember and share this dream that you gave me. In Jesus' name, amen. So the way this dream started, I was um, really happy and smiling with these people. And I had a knowing in the dream that they were Ashkenazi Jews. And they looked like Ashkenazi Jews, you know, like the people in Israel. And they was being kicked out um, of this place that we was in. It was all being put out and I was smiling at them and I was like I was just really cordial. I was giving them hugs and smiling and and all of them were being put out and I was left. And this dream, dream kept switching sceneries. So all of them was put being I knew they was being kicked out, whatever you know, I'm not going to try to explain this dream. I'm not going to do that because it was definitely symbolic. So I'm just going to tell the dream as I had it. And I was left. And then the dream switched and I was in this heavenly mansion. And man, it, it, it must have been like my daughter saw this heavenly mansion. And I have been having dreams lately that have been showing me this uh, things that she saw but in pieces she saw it all at one time I've been seeing it in pieces so anyway it, the dream switched I was in some I was in this heavenly mansion and the feeling that I had was that it wasn't just mine but it was owned by the people that lived there and that's exactly what she said as well that everybody who lived out of we all owned it and that was me and my children and well yeah I said it right me and my children um, and so anyway I, I saw that this big huge giant kitchen I mean this kitchen was so massive and probably the biggest kitchen yeah biggest kitchen I've ever seen in my life but um and it, it just had everything I wanted in this kitchen and I had to I was cooking something and I saw that it was another kitchen on the other side of the floor like it was in another kitchen that was the guest kitchen just like my daughter saw and it was a, it was just as massive or if not bigger and and I was just, I, throughout this whole dream, I was smiling and really, really happy. Just smiling ear to ear, full of joy. And I felt like God was just showing me too how happy we're going to be when we get to heaven, you know. So anyway, I was going to the kitchen and I was about to cook something. Then, then the dream switched again. And I was in some kind of adult school. It was a... Um, a school for adults and I say it that way because I saw the first dream I saw this school I saw a heaven I mean different schools I saw a heavenly college then I had a dream where I saw another well okay let me say it correctly I saw a heavenly college where I was in school with people I guess in my age group I guess I'm 43 and I had another dream and I saw my oldest daughter she was in a heavenly college and I guess it was people her age group you know she's 18 now and then I had a dream recently where I saw a grade school a heavenly grade school so this one again I was in a heavenly college and it was I, I mean I don't want to call it a college because in a dream I, I didn't say college, I said school. It was a heavenly school, and I was in it. And it was a guy that was there who didn't like me when I was on the earth. He he really did not like me at all when I was on the earth. And I'm, I'm going to say this because I forgot to say this. In my heavenly college dream, the first dream that I had, this guy was in that dream too. Okay, so there was this guy that was in the first dream and um, when I recorded it I just I forgot to say that and I knew that he was 
he was considered um in the first heavenly dream that I had, I have to say this because this dream reminded me of it. I knew, I had a knowing that I was popular in that heavenly college dream. That I was in the popular, you know how we have today, we have popular students. But I was popular and I had a knowing that it was because of things that I did on the earth and uh, things like that. And that's why the teacher and all the students, they really liked me. I was... I was like a, I was the popular person in this school, and I was in the popular crowd. And the popular crowd, I had a knowing was completely different from the way we view popular crowds today. There, um, a lot of times we view them as stuck up and sport kids and you know rotten kids. But in heaven, it was you know the ones that was really righteous and um, did. You know, led, led souls to Christ and bring in the harvest. These was the popular kids. Well, I wouldn't say kid, but these were the popular ones in this school. And um, I just forgot to say that. And there was this one guy that was there. And this guy on the earth, like, he, he totally hated me. He made it to heaven. But I had a knowing that he was a minority. And so now back to the dream that I had today. Once again, he was there. And I'm in this heavenly, um, it was some kind of heavenly school, is what I said in a dream, heavenly school. I mean, that's what I had to know when I didn't actually say that, but I knew it was a heavenly school. And I'm just smiling ear to ear, and in the dream, I was holding my ego, my, uh, my doll ego that I have. And because they wanted to honor me, because it was my birthday. And in this heavenly school, there was these restaurants as well. And, you know, like a regular college has cafeterias. Well, this one had restaurants, like really nice, high-end restaurants. And there were uh, waiters and, um, you know, things like that. Like I had a lot of waiters to my table. And they, they was surprising me it was actually multiple restaurants one restaurant i had reservations to to celebrate my birthday because it was my birthday and they and then the other one i didn't have reservations i was just looking around and they knew it was my birthday and they was like oh no you gotta come here and i said well we made reservation i'm just smiling ear to ear and they was like well you know just just a little bit you know just a, we just want to serve you a little bit so I, I sat down, I was like, okay, and this, this restaurant had also things you can look around at. You know how like Cracker Barrel, you can look around if you want to shop or whatever. And that's how this restaurant was. It was really nice things. I was just looking around while they was getting my my table together. And it, the waiters were, were um, dressed really nice. I, I In a dream, it zoomed in on their clothes, how pristine and perfectly ironed and very nice and they were holding some kind of long cloth there was a long cloth on on the arm and it has some kind of logo but I didn't really get to see what the logo was at all like I just knew it was there and it was just very they was extremely professional the best restaurant I've ever been into that was very professional like that was when I was in New York, I was in Little Italy, and I had like five waiters to my table, and it was very professional and very nice, and that's how this was. There was multiple waiters to one table, and I might have said the word butler earlier, but I mean waiters, but they have different names. You know, you have the busboy. They have different names, different functions that they do. And so anyway, I was sitting there and I was, with my, I was holding my, my ego and I was all smiley as they was preparing everything. And because I, I had went to the table at this point, I'm sitting there and they was preparing everything for my birthday. But the other place I already had the decorations up and they was doing decorations and all of that because I had actually made um, reservations with them. So I had to be there at seven in the dream. I had to be there at seven. So anyway, then this guy was there and let me just say this this is interesting that i'm having a dream i'm celebrating my birthday in heaven my birthday was about oh, two weeks ago so i just had a birthday so 
Because I know people, and I have to say that, because people will say, well, that means that we're going to be in heaven on your birthday. But now my next birthday is not into next October. So I just had a birthday a couple of weeks ago. And it made me think about other people's birthdays. So I started reaching out to people and asking them, when is your birthday? Because, you know, I felt sad about my birthday. But um, at first it was it was a really sad thing because at first I wasn't getting any happy birthdays or nothing from nobody. And then I later throughout the day I did. So I thank God for that. But it just made me think about, you know, telling other people happy birthday. So I did ask a lot of um, my friends who I didn't know their birthdays, what, when was their birthday? So I can do that for them. But anyway, so um, then that's when I saw this same guy that was there and he he was looking at me because he really did not like me on the earth. And he was just looking at me getting this happy celebration of my birthday. And then in the other heavenly college, he was looking at me as I was get as all the, everybody was all happy and celebrating me. Now, I don't know who this guy is because the, guy, the Lord only shows me a form of this guy. And I don't know if he represents one person. He could represent, because I had another dream where I did see a particular guy. And I know who this guy is. And, and he'll probably be shocked if I ever said who he is. Because he probably has no clue that I know all about him. Because the Lord has showed me different things about this particular guy. And I'm not going to say who he is. But I was shown his face in this other dream that I had. And I was shown that multiple his face started turning into multiple people that were in his clique or whatever. That the Lord was showing me that how they didn't like me. So this, these two dreams and these scoots, I'm shown like just the form of a man. And um, not shown his face. So he could represent multiple people. But anyway... That was the end of the dream. I want to say I love everybody. <laughs> I love this guy. I love all these people that, um, you know, that don't like me or whatever. They don't agree with something that I do or whatever. I love them. So, you know, that's just love everybody. If you have any animosity towards me in any way, you know, you need to let that go. And I, I have no animosity towards anyone. I thank God for that because he's taught me to be that way. And... You know, heaven's going to be awesome. I was smiling ear to ear. It was so, I was so, so happy. And, you know, this is not the first time I've saw, I've been seeing heaven celebrate birthdays for, for years. I used to didn't celebrate birthdays. I thought it was pagan. You know, uh, there's pagan things associated with candles and all of that. So I used to didn't celebrate it. But God showed me himself that it is celebrated in heaven. Mary Kay Baster also saw that um, they celebrate birthdays in heaven so I celebrate them now and um, you know heaven's gonna be awesome and God bless you all bye